everybody welcome back in this video we're talking itsy bitsy spider offer is this a good one is it worth your gold is it help you with progression let's jump right in always got to mention the variant first this baby miles variant does look pretty sharp and with the move meta potentially upon us in the season of june i believe there's gonna be a lot of miles morales plays so if you're looking for a variant this is one more reason to get this offer, but let's look deeper into the actual stats behind this offer. Going over to the handy dandy spreadsheet for anybody unfamiliar, I keep track of every single offer that comes in game to try to give a good analysis of which offers might be better than others. In this particular case, the Itsy Bitsy Spider offer is a gold offer, 2,500 gold, so for all the free to play, cheap to play type spenders, it's gonna be very important for them. We're gonna get out of this outside of the variant that I already mentioned, the boosters, a card back, which is nice to see. You get 3000 credits, and that's gonna be the most important aspect of this offer to focus on. Avatar is also thrown in there. We don't add any value to those at this point, even though with conquests coming to the game, there is the ability to add that to the formula. I have two different types of base pricing, one for the token Tuesdays, which I consider those cheaper spenders. And then I've got the $100 gold offers, which I consider for those more whale types who will buy the $100 gold offer and use it to continually refresh missions and getting credits as much as humanly possible. So in, in this case, the base pricing cost of this offer for a token teaser player is $51.38. For a whale player, it's much lower at $40.36. And that's because there's credits in this and those aren't valued as high for those type of spenders. So I'm not surprised to see that. The actual offer here breaks down to 33 US dollars and 64 cents, giving a percent discount to those Token Tuesday spenders of about 34.52% and only a 16% discount for those whales. The most critical information from this sort of spreadsheet to me though, is when you're looking at the tokens per gold and the credits per gold. In this case, the tokens per gold is crazy low. That's why your whales are not gonna look at this at all. They don't really care as much about getting credits. And when you typically are looking for an offer for tokens to gold, you want it to be closer to the 0.8 range. So this is way off the mark there. But for your progression spenders, anybody who's looking to get credits to climb that ladder faster, this is a great, great offer. How's it compared to the other offers this month? We'll look in one second. But a 1.2 for credits per gold, that's fantastic. I think anything, honestly, even above the 0 0.8, 0 0.9 range again is pretty solid. You'll see a 1.9 above it, but that's for cash money. So for this particular case, when you're looking at all the other gold only offers in here, Uga Chaka Uga Uga was 0.75. The Mech Hurt Connors one, which we'll talk about when that one comes out, that's a little bit better, but how much gold does it cost? You've got the I don't like Sandman one, which is really low at 0.3. And then you've got the Spand Excellence one, which is also lower than that at 0.167. So as far as your free to play and or cheap spenders using their free gold in game to get credits, this is the offer. This is the one that you want to get. When you're looking at those other offers that I mentioned, the Mech Hurt Connors one, yes, that one was better, but it's also a lot more gold. So you've got to be weighing the priorities of where you want to put your gold between a lot more credits or do you want to save some of that gold to potentially get those token Tuesday offers to get tokens. The other one that was in there, the Salmon, obviously it's got much less credits, but it's got more tokens. And the Spand Excellence one is a lot more gold and it's got a number of more tokens, but less credits. So when you're really looking at all the offers this month, if you're looking to be a progression focused player, you wanna climb that ladder a little bit faster, the Itsy Bitsy Spider offer is going to be for you. Or as always, if you really like the variant or the card back, obviously you're gonna pull the trigger as well. That's all we got. Hopefully this video helped you make a decision on whether you wanna buy this or not. If it was helpful, please consider hammering down that like button. If you wanna share with your aunts, uncles, nieces, and nephews, always appreciate that. Till next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.